Hey guys, my name is Countertunes, and this is my first ever time commentary. Uh, Tanks was like to me, you need to provide something for our channel, I think you'd be really good at it. So, I was like, oh, that's cool. So I just decided to make this, I guess. So yeah, this is me playing Modern Warfare 2 on PC on a mod called 4 Delta 2, which allows you to get dedicated servers for headshot right here. Right. Um, I'm, I don't know how good I'm at the game, but if this tells you enough, you know, boom, boom, collateral, something like that. And I've got a care package. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm good at this game or it's just pure luck. Um, you know, the famous saying, one shot, one kill, no luck to skill, uh, kind of comes into account when I play video games a lot. Um, now, your MP45 silencer works brilliantly with mul with multiplayer, especially team deathmatch. Um, I think it works good. Um, here's a test example. Shoot this guy. Oh, last hand pisses me off, but... I shoot him. I think the UMP45 silencer not only provides you that stealthiness you want, but it also kind of gets a kick out of the performance, I think. And just in general, the UMP45 looks and sounds sexy, so... Yeah, it even looks sexier when you got on to FOB90, or Fulfilled of U9. Anyway, um, so I got a care package around here. Um, I'm just going to advise you with a sentry gun. I didn't actually know it was a sentry gun for a while. I was like, oh wait, oh, it's my care package, it's a sentry gun. So, yeah, where to put the sentry gun is in the most... is in a spot where you know enemies can't get to for a while. Now, the corner is a good place for this, because the corner provides you with, um, a little bit more protection, and it gives you a bit more time for that sentry gun to be used. Yeah, I got two guys there. Um, so try putting your sentry gun in a tight corner, because in order for them to disable it, they're going to need to use uh, like a, a flashbang or a smoke or you know a stunner, something like that. They can use grenades if they want. They'll, they'll disable it, but people like to prefer using their tactics, like um, the tacticals instead of their explosives. So I, I don't really shoot that guy. I was about to anyway, but if it wasn't flat. If the Predator Missile came earlier, I wouldn't be in that sticky situation. Okay, um, another thing. These things, right? See how these walls are right here? There's a guy in those, and I think, okay, I might just shoot him, but I kind of fail. Now, they integrated this with Call of Duty 4, but if you shoot on the wall, you can get a kill. So, I'll show you how this works. So, guy's in there, he obviously hasn't moved, so I just shoot the wall, and, um, boom. I kill him. Okay, oh, I mean, I'm a bit tired today. So, guy wants out this building, I shoot him too. Want to be pretty quick on the finger. Now, another tip is to not walk past entry points like this and activate your kill streak. Guy right there, I could have been shot at any time if you saw me earlier. Anyway, so I got that guy off. Think to myself, maybe I should just enter the building and I get that guy there too. And this is where I get um, upgrade a little bit. Scavenger Pro, and I upgrade my rank to first sergeant. Two, shit. Um, Riot Shield is the most retarded thing, but it's, it works pretty well with the game. This, that, that sucks. The Predator Missiles, where you may think you're gonna get the enemy, and then all of a sudden they move like maybe two feet away from it or something, and it just doesn't reach. I'm pretty sure a Predator Missile should complete, like, fuck them up, you know? Ammo crates are bad. I mean, if it's an ammo crate, I would just leave it, but I actually kind of needed the ammo, and then I didn't, because I died. Brilliant. So, I start now on TF... Oh, sorry, bit of time. <clears throat> I start now on TF-142, Task Force 142, I think that is, which is commanded by Captain Price, because Captain Price is the oldest person in the Call of Duty game. Not anymore, anymore, because it's Woods now. He's like 95 years old now. Shot him. I'm pretty good at this game, I think. So, pistol fights happen on the roof. Do not be an idiot and decide to use your machine, um, your primary. Use your secondary. Boom, got him. Now, USP 40. Now, pistols and you know USP 45 in particular. You because they're not automatic and they're single shot. You're gonna need to. I know there's another word for that. And that you need to shoot them at the right time. You miss someone. With that, you only get a few more chances to hit them. I guess that's obvious. I don't even know why I'm providing advice to you guys. Bloody face. Do not do this. Walk out there after a second of being shot because that just puts your health in this oh, in this worst state ever. Um, just do not. I warn. Don't do that. Okay? Seriously. If you do that, you are 
like, I don't know, y you may be retarded, but we'll get that checked, okay? <sighs> Man, I'm be playing. Now, stealth. I hear a guy walking. I press C, which is crouch, and I think to myself, I might just go around and have a look what this guy's doing. So he's there. See, he's right there. He's having a bit of a camp, you know, and this doesn't have a suppressor, so I'm gonna need to use something else. The throwing knife. Boom! Yeah. Do not use loud weapons when you know you can get an easy kill. The stealth mechanism will not work if you do that. I mean, I could have knifed him if I wanted to. And I'm going to follow the same tactic here, except for... I kind of miss. Throw knives only get you one chance if you're in a close range situation. If you don't have, um, of course... If you don't also have, um... Scavenger, you're pretty much fucked because you're going to need to get the other throwing knife to complete anything, so... In my in my opinion, use a throw knife if you're certain you're gonna get something. If you're not certain, just use your pistol or something. And if it's close range and you're being stealthy and he doesn't know about it, knife or throw knife or tomahawk or what do you wanna do with it? It's up to you. Okay, so I get a guy here. He falls over like a retard because I'm too good at the game. And uh, oh, nice. yeah, now. Um, what else should I talk to you about? If you're okay, if you're interested in gameplay tactics, um, I guess my best advice for Call of Duty is yeah, this game is more suited for a, a one-man wolf pack. So, if you're if you take around with your teammates, you're going to get a few kills here and there. But this game focuses on individual, um, like. The, this game focuses on individual type teamwork, unless if we're talking like search and destroy and game modes like that. We're gonna make sure, well you're gonna make sure that you can at least get a few kills by yourself, because of course assist points are nice and all, but they don't really give you the bacon. Even though kill streaks kinda do apply, uh, I think they apply in Modern Warfare 3, yeah, with um, a certain perk. Yeah, just make sure you go as your individual is first. Now I showed a car there, and you may be wondering to yourself what a waste of bullets. Now, no, not really. The waste of bullets factor of this is that I'm simply shooting at the car because people don't know that cars can explode. Funny as that is, you can get a few kills off shooting off a car to do that because people forget that when cars are on fire, it'll explode. End of get commentary, guys, and yeah, have a fun...